Um, not bad. I, cool. Yeah. Definitely cool. This morning I need like an extra sweater to go out, but that's going to change soon. Yeah, we're going to warm up. You're going to go from running the heat if you're doing that, but or not. You're, maybe at least you're not running the air conditioner because then you're going to have to run the air conditioner soon. Let's see how long you can hold out, though. I think we'll have another day in us, uh, at least if uh, you like the cooler mornings, another day of that, and then things will really start warming up. Right now, high pressure on top of us, so everything's pretty quiet. Temperatures dropping off pretty quickly here. 40s for the Treasure Coast, mid 50s for the Palm Beaches, and by tomorrow morning, we'll be near 40 and some upper 30s speckled around the Treasure Coast area, and near 50 for the Palm Beaches. It's a little bit of 40s speckled in there too. High temperatures tomorrow for everybody back in the 70s, mid 70s all around. Everybody gets a 70 on the map and it should be beautiful out there. A lot of sunshine warming up a little bit more, a little bit more humidity too. And as we go through time here, we'll continue to warm up and we keep going. Look at how high we get here. Low to mid 80s here by the weekend and early next week. We just don't have another front that's going to make it on through. So it looks like uh, no big cold fronts and we can continue the warming trend. Southerly flow here will start bringing in the warmer air as over the next couple of days. Not really a ton of moisture yet though, so we've kept rain chances very low here for the next several days. We do start to finally moisten things up and pump up rain chances just a little bit though going into the end of the week and the weekend. The humidity will keep going up too. We have one front that's going to make a run at us on Friday. It's going to fall short and stop. So instead of this going down, we stick with the humidity going up. We have another front making a run at us on about Tuesday, and it may just barely squeak on by, but it's not going to be a, a, a big cool down or anything like that. So we'll stay kind of on the mildly warm side. Northeast swells are still showing up from that big ocean storm out there that's uh, heading up towards Nova Scotia now. And uh, we're looking for maybe a little pulse in the morning. And this is longer period energy, so it's going to break in deeper water. So boaters coming in and out of inlets, not all the inlets, but some of the inlets have that outer shoaling. It's going to break right across there. Jupiter Inlet's perfect example. You're going to see that breaking across there and it'll be dangerous. Otherwise, out to sea, the wind is light and it's not that bad. Surf is going to be big. It's a chest ahead high plus, probably a couple feet overhead on the set. So experienced surfers only out there. Got to know how to handle it. It's pretty powerful. Highs mid 70s tomorrow after a chilly start. Upper 70s on Wednesday, then we're basking away in the 80s, and that will continue and lock in through the weekend. We'll also bring up rain chances and wind a little bit on Sunday.